Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to the Total Tech Teacher YouTube channel. In today's quick tutorial, I'll show you how to change the BIOS settings of your computer to reduce the voltage to your CPU. A handy trick to improve efficiency and reduce heat and hopefully put your CPU in the best environment to function well until Intel releases their patch. In a recent article, Puget Systems, a reputable workstation PC manufacturer, released a report shedding light on the failure rates of Intel's 13th and 14th gen CPUs. According to them, while they have observed issues with Raptor Lake and Raptor Lake refresh processors, the failures have been less severe and frequent than suggested by current headlines. They noted, though, that they meticulously adjust BIOS settings when configuring a computer, particularly power settings to adhere to Intel and AMD guidelines. They do not rely on most motherboard stock settings. Despite their cautious approach, hardware failures still occur. Notably, Puget has seen an increase in 14th gen core processor failures after extended use, even with their rigorous testing and configuration changes to the motherboard. Adjusting voltage settings to the CPU seems to reduce the effects of the current voltage problem, and if you want to use your computer while waiting on Intel's fix, it is probably wise to attempt this to reduce the problems occurring on your computer. It's fairly simple, but somewhat motherboard model specific. The following is a rough guide, but you can easily Google the exact procedure for your motherboard. First, restart your computer and press the BIOS access key during startup. Usually delete F2, F12, escape, one of those key combinations. Once in the BIOS menu, navigate to the advanced or overclocking tab. Look for the CPU voltage settings, which might be labeled as CPU vCore or CPU voltage. Next, select the voltage setting and switch it from auto to manual. Carefully reduce the voltage by small increments, say 0.01 volts at a time. Save and exit the BIOS and test your computer. Your system will restart with the new settings. Finally, monitor your system's stability and temperatures. If everything runs smoothly, you've successfully reduced your CPU voltage. Remember, small changes are the key to avoid instability. With some simple changes to your machine, hopefully you can reduce the chance of damage from the Intel problem. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and deals. See you next time on Total Tech Teacher.